Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. It's about that time, yet again, another player stat update for the 2023 season. It's the midway point, and I've gone through and made some adjustments. Now, it did take a little longer than usual, as it's the origin period, and I've slowly been chipping away. Now, some of these players, I will talk about them when we actually take a look at, like, the top 15 and all that. Apologies, it did cut out, and it threw us into a demo because I didn't press A. But yeah, if you're new here, we're going to quickly show you the most efficient way to download these teams and to have updated rosters for your career mode. Now, keep in mind, when you use my rosters, they replace the original teams. They won't have updated jerseys. So as far as I know, that's the best way to actually play a multi-year career mode, as opposed to using player-created jerseys and custom teams. So when you get here, you already know what to do. I've done this numerous times. I'll actually throw up a little screenshot of what you need to put into the fan hub when searching. I haven't actually uploaded them as of making this video, but by the time it goes live, they'll be up to date. But yeah, basically all you want to do is quick download all these, replace all your old stuff with the new, and you should be good for your career mode. And of course, make sure you remove copies of players appearing in other leagues to avoid the two-year glitch. First of all, the club overalls. These are a little wonky. I might readjust some players in certain teams that have an overall that I'd think is too high we have the bronx here at an 84 overall the raiders an 82 we got the canterbury bankstown bulldogs 81 cronulla 83 titans 81 seagulls 82 melbourne 84 warriors 82 newey 81 cowboys 83 the eels 82 penrith still the highest rated team in the league at an 86 not far behind them the bunnies at an 85 spoiler alert they do have i believe three 90 overall players now whether you agree or disagree i'm sure you'll let me know uh, st george 80 uh, they are the lowest rated team roosters 83 and down there with st george are the tigers who are an 80 so for the player ratings, there's been a bit of movements. Starting off the fullbacks, there's only one 90 overall, and that is Latrell Mitchell, a 91 overall. We've also got Dylan Edwards, who's been bumped up to an 89 overall. James Tedesco, knocked out of the 90s. He's now an 89. Gutho, 88. KP, back at fullback, 88. Jabojevic, I believe he was 88 or 89 last time. Uh, we have Reese Walsh, a big bump. He's now an 88. Bremo, 87. And the top 10, Will Kennedy, an 87 as well. For wingers, it's tricky. No 90 overalls. But Toto was the highest rated at an 88. Followed by Ruben Garrick, 87. Cobo, 86. Taulangi, 86. And Okar, he's been knocked to an 85. Molitalo, Rafana, Watene Zalesniak, Dom Young, Marcelo Montoya. I know they look, their overalls are pretty low, but their speeds are still where it should be. Young, for instance, it's an 85, but his speed's up there at a 97 so on and so forth wingers like Rapana his his speed's not that high obviously for the centers uh, we have Val Holmes still at a 90 I was thinking of dropping him out as well as uh, Joey Manu who's also at a 90 Campbell Graham's been bumped 89 Crota 87 Olam 87 Herbie 86 Bensini 86 Tango 86 and Godoni Staggs 85 that's the top uh, that's the top 10 at least we did uh, give Jared Croker a little bit of a bump. He was like low 70s. But since he's been back, he's been pretty beast. So we bumped him up to an 82. 5 eights. Cab Munster, I believe, is the highest rated player in the game at the moment. Uh, he's an eight, he's a 92. Cody Walker at a 90. That's the new 90. One of the three from the Bunnies. Dylan Brown's taking a bit of a knock. Matt Burton. Jack Whiten, all 87s. Tom Dearden, 86, Luai, 86, Mam, 86, Kiri, 85, Warren, 84. Moving on, halfbacks. Uh, Nathan Cleary's been knocked back considerably. He's now a 90 overall. He was like 92-ish, 93. Waltham at 90, Ben Hunt, 89, Nico Hines, 88. Daily Cherry Evans, Sean Johnson, another bump for Sean, 88. Mitchell Moses, 88. Adam Reynolds, 88. Hughes, 87. Fogarty, 85. And Townsend, 85. Then you've got like... Hastings, Brooks, Brooks has been bumped, Tanner Boyd, Sam Walker, Salmon. We do have the rookie here, Akao Oluwapu, 79 overall. There's so many quality props in the league. Obviously, you'd expect that with every team having four props, but yeah. At the top, we have Payne Haas at 92. Adam Fanor Blake, a new member of the 90 club. He's been an absolute weapon since joining the Waz. We have Ruben Cotter here at an 89, a bit of a bump for him. Faso Malialbi, 89. Fisher Harris, 89. Moses Liotta, 89. You could easily make a case for all of them being 90s. Tapane, 89. He was a 90 last time. Nelson, 88. Collins, 88. Paolo, 88. Trebojevic, 88. You can also change him to lock if you want to. Campbell Gillard, 87. Burgess, Totola. Welsh, Lenuel's got a bit of a bump too, I think. But yeah, 
you get the gist. Decently rated, young guns like Moale has been upgraded. Twile, Cohen Hiss, Jensen, Klemmer. I'm trying to see if there's any um rookies. Oh, we got Leo Thompson here. He was like 76-ish, but he's been bumped to an 81. It's actually pretty decent. Tavita Panga Jr., Sipley, Udubika Manu, an 80. Maria Hargreaves could probably make a case to bump him up a bit, actually. For hookers, at number one, we have Harry Grant, the lone 90 overall, followed by Damian Cook, 88. Appiah 87, Reed Mani 87, Reese Robson 87, Smith 86, he's taking a bit of a dip, Blake Braley, Wade Egan, 85s, Sam Verrills, Jaden Braley, Kenny, double checking if we should bump a few more players, but in terms of like quality hookers, I think we got the ratings right for the, for at least like the top eight. Moving on to the second row, no 90s, because uh, Vliam Kikau has been out for ages now, but we've got David Fifita here at the top, 87, followed by Kikau, 87, used to be like a 90, Kion Golomatangi, 87, Liam Martin, 87, Brighton Nikora, 87, Omole Olokawatu, 87, uh, I don't know why Fine Fiuyaki's 86 i just downloaded him we'll drop this down let's go like 76 chucks his strength up acceleration's pretty decent too durability sprint speed 75 fitness low all right 76 that's all good with me but yeah no one really going crazy like that deserves a 90 overall i reckon if you have an opinion on that let me know in the comment section i'm looking for i did end up making a couple players one of them being the bulldogs second rower Zach Hosking been pretty good for the Panthers, 83, along with Sorensen, uh, Josh Curran, Ockenbohr in the back row in 82, along with Jacob Preston, who we couldn't find a we couldn't find a creation of, and we ended up making him ourselves. But yeah, he's an 82. Yeah, the rest you can have a geese for yourself. And finally, for locks, we have a couple of new 90s. But sitting at the top, we have Cam Murray. He's a 91 overall. Paddy Carrigan at 90. Isaiah Yo at 90 still. Dawan Lolo back from injury. He's dropped down to an 89. Big bump with Tohu Harris, who's been absolutely killing it for the Warriors. Six, we have Victor Radley at an 87. Corey Horsmore at 86. Jermaine Hopgood at an 85. She has been so good for the Eels. And he shot right up into the top 10, in fact. Adele Fanukin, Cam McInnes, Tavanga, Hetherington, King, Madison. But yeah, again, you can you can take a closer look at these when you end up downloading them. And that's pretty much it. I think I got the rookies, especially the ones that's played this year, like for the Warriors and for the Dolphins as well. These are available to download. If you end up using them, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if this did help you in any way, be sure to run straight at that like button. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you. you, 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 you. Later.